All right, here you go, sir. Five bucks is all you can do. All right. Oh, is that you? So all of you go hunting? I wish I could have gone hunting. You were looking for mini, right? I was. I'm not looking for mini. That so was me. You... Nicholas, look up. Oh. Nicholas. Oh shit, that I was wondering where the voice was coming from. <laughs> oh shit. How'd you guys look get up there? Up. I see you up there. I see you up there. Wow. <laughs> how'd you uh how'd you folk it up there? Uh, sure, I guess. Let me uh, tie up Ladybird. She's freaking out over there. Shh, it's all right. It's all right. All right, Ladybird. rb has been very good. Shoulder looks oh, like when it bites you. Look at my wolf. Oh, you so you have that wolf that bite your shoulder? I. I that. Oh my god. Oh, now you want to talk. Hello, how do you hey, doing? Hey, Nikolai. Hey. Hey, handsome. Listen, Mister, are you good hunter? I'm all right. Uh, you need help with anything? Why you ask? Well, I would like to go on hunting trip in the grizzlies up in the snowy mountain. That's, that's quite the trip, and uh, I don't want to take a ride along if you don't I, ride uh, along. Luke, I, uh, Lucas. Who's Lucas? I just kind of want to go uh, you on ain't Lucas, trip. Lucas, man, you look Irish as hell. What do you want hey, to bet? Uh, what do you mean right he looks Irish as hell? If you, I don't, I don't if you go Irish. around the bar, friend, you oh, might find man, somebody. Look at him, he looks the same. All right, Doc, Doc. No, he, he looks look like the same, boy who screams extra, extra whilst giving you a newspaper. What are you on about? Five yeah, I don't know about all that. I mean, y'all look the same kind of. Y'all matching. So you, you kind of the same. I can't do it on your tracks and fly for me. Sounds like a scout. That's a Liverpool accent wait, right what, there. Wait, he is a scout. Scout. Oh, what? Some scouts. What the fuck? Oh shit! Jesus. You're doing a bad job with that. I watch your step, ma'am. <laughs> I don't uh, look. Yeah. I don't want no. I tried getting out your way and fought the step One of y'all is British and one of y'all is Irish. You know. I mean. What's the Irish lad's name? My name Lucas. Ah, oh, Lucas, that's it. Sorry, my bad. How was your uh, business in uh, Blackwater, uh, Doc and Lucas? Yeah, Lucas Joyce, man. That's a sick uh, name. It was all right. We went hunting with uh, Mr. Gray. Yeah, I was finally get that wagon together, then I assume. Man, I mean, we got a wagon together. I'm, I'm, I'm sizing up to go to bed though. I'm tired as hell. Oh, oh Jesus. shit. <laughs> what the oh, fuck? My God. That would be <laughs> hey, man, I don't think that's how that's supposed to go, man. Somebody did not hitch their horsey. Alright, hey, Lucas and, uh, and Nicholas, I'll see you boys later. Alright, you off the bed. Yeah, you take care. Give it some rest. Alright, see you later. See you later. Pulling that out, lad. Jesus, what the? Whoa, watch now. Damn, you can pretend that doesn't happen. You can hog time pretty fast. I admit that. Yeah, I do it all the time. He's kind of used to it by now. That's the second time I've seen you do it. Manny, would you uh, would you like a drink over at the saloon? Yeah, sure. I'll leave you two to it. Enjoy. Yeah, enjoy your uh, <laughs> your hog tie there. <laughs> uh, best of luck, kid. <laughs> oh, 
ma'am, uh, if you don't mind me asking, where are you from? I, I kind of heard the conversation, but I didn't get a clear answer from. Well, I'm from Cork, Ireland. I, I hear that's quite the, the distance to travel from. Oh, what, it is. What brings you to the land of opportunity, I guess? <laughs> uh, well, uh, follow my religion and uh, get away from my father. You said you were a witch? Eh, in some matters. I don't cast spells as much, but uh, I can see people's colours. Uh, auras, as we call them. Uh, deal with demons, spirits, ghosts, witches, uh, banshees, you name it. And uh, I read cards. Hands, uh, I read too. Uh, but I read tarot cards as a living. I don't mean to sound rude, but I, I don't know much about witchcraft or whatever. And uh, my father told me uh, that was kind of the devil's work, but the way you explain it makes it sound like you're doing God's work in a way by getting rid of bad spirits and bad. Oh, I, yeah. Uh, I uh, I try and put things at rest. I try and prevent people from being hurt. Uh, a lot of the witches in America, from what I've been hearing, are uh, not the decent type they kind of come across as sirens in a sense sirens who lure you into uh, trust and fortune and they drag you under the water and drown you such to say you know uh, i heard some things about that before uh, yeah but that's not me <laughs> so don't worry about it uh, i hope because uh that would be a horrible thing to come across i, I guess <laughs> uh no, I uh, I make sure that uh, people are safe and uh, they don't, uh, you know, get into any troubles. I try and open people's minds up as well about it. I imagine that's part of your, uh, your business as well. Is that how you make your money these days? Uh, something? Yeah, my readings aren't very, uh, well, cheap, so to say, but uh, it depends on what kind of cards you want to read. Uh, reading and uh, well, uh, the whole demon stuff. I try and do that for free, mainly because uh, I, you know, don't want people getting hurt. If it's a ghost thing though, and uh, I know it won't anger the spirits, uh, I'll take people up there and let them uh, see for themselves, or like an educational kind of thing. I don't really want to uh, provoke anything for the matter. How many you? Uh... How much do you charge to read it? Uh, what do you say, the hands or cards? Uh, the tarot cards, it's from $10 to $100, depending oh, on the type. I think uh, <laughs> I'm too much of a poor man for that, then. <laughs> i tell you what, since you uh, got me a drink, I'll give, you, uh, I'll give you a cheap one for free. How about that? Uh, for free? Yeah, that's very cheap. <laughs> <laughs> Let me get on the other side. Now, do I have to pay just for watching? Is that like a $50, $50 charge? You wanna have some time? I mean, if you want to pay, I'm not going to uh, oppose uh, to it. I might. Keep my money in my pocket. I already paid for a potion of Grant's wishes today, so this should be good. Hmm. I guess you let other parts do this. Oh wow, <laughs> you uh, you gamble as well <laughs> with those hands. If she does, don't gamble with her. I, uh, you will even gamble your fucking clothes away at one point probably as well. I, I, I mean, I wouldn't uh, oppose to seeing him clothless, but sure. I do need Ooh. to candle. <laughs> Let's see. So, uh, I'll give you the option. I can either do your weekly spread or your card of the day. What are you feeling? I guess we should, uh, let's do the card of the day, ma'am. All right. <coughs> I'm going to shuffle. You tell me... Uh, well, I'm shuffling right now, but uh, you, uh, you tell me when to stop, all right? All right, Minnie. All right, that's good, right there. 
All right, let me put this on the table for you. I'll flip it over. Right, so you have a very interesting and positive card. Now, with this card, it is known as strength. I know it hasn't got any letters, but you can say, see the line there being petted by a woman. Now, this is the representation of strength. This is basically showing you that you've got something in your day coming that is going to be a strong attribute or going to be a strong feature in yourself, whether that be an attribute of hunting, an attribute of creating friends or saving someone. The card is a rough kind of meaning. However, touching by your aura, it's giving me a feeling that you're going to find something to discover, so to say. And even though this is known as a card of the day, it may be a card that can carry out for a good number of days. But there is something that this card is telling me and i know there's some people around here that are listening in so i won't say much to that attribute so to say well, perhaps maybe you and i can go talk to her more private instead that sound <laughs> if you wish All right, i've seen the card you've seen the card so i'm i can put the card away it seems like uh i've been praying for uh my wrongdoings lately and it seems like maybe things are gonna turn my way finally Been a bit of a rough bum the last couple of days i mean you lead the way and i'll follow all right ma'am this way you two have fun pardon me sir oh harder As I'm a little less muddy and wet, I guess. Be <laughs> there. What does that uh, other part mean? Benny? That something inside you has been troubling you for a while. Something that you've been contemplating on for a bit. Something that you've done wrong or something that you should resolve with someone. Or uh, possibly something that uh, you wake up from the night and uh, you're in sweats and I'm not on about the summer breeze. Something that you need to find the strength and courage to resolve it, to fix it or to move on from, to discourage those thoughts and, well, pretend it never happened if uh, the thoughts are too disturbing. Probably from what I'm somewhat feeling, a family or something like that. A family member that got hurt or a friend, but uh, that could either be from your party or someone else's party that you were involved with such as how you enter into the matter. I can't really say much, but that's what I, uh, I'm seeing in a sense, if that, if that makes any sort of sense. Oh. You're kind of making me a believer now at this point. I told you, I'm not a con. <laughs> too many of that, what you said, kind of matches up. A little... Well, more than I thought would. <laughs> well, at least I'm doing my job right then. That's why my prices are so high. You see so many people claiming to be these readers and these witches and so on and so forth. But uh, you got to open up your uh, your inner eyes to uh, see the actual truth, like me. It took me years, but still. I've been praying that God sets me on the right path again. Sure. My sins that I committed recently. I might as well tell you because I think I kept it in for too long now, or haven't told the right people or something. Well, I mean, in a sense, you're finding your strength already, as the card is. Go ahead. 
I did lose family, but not just one. I lost everybody. The famine disease back in Arkansas. And this is my second week here in the country, or in the state, I mean. I went from Blackwater to Valentine because I met a man named Caleb West. And him and I, uh, we've both been on a bumpy road since we met each other. I don't know if God's testing me right now or I'm trying to, trying to help him or maybe he's trying to help me in some weird way I can't see yet. Uh, him and I have been in some fights lately, back and forth, and he says he's doing good work, but at the same time, I don't know. I see him. I see him kill two men. Cold blood, it seems like, but he says they were bad men. But it looks like just workers to me. People just doing their job, but he said another henchman or, or something for. Or something bad that's going on out there, and he's he's trying to do the right thing. Yes, he he's had three chances to kill me. He did. The goddamn son of a bitch. But he didn't pull the trigger each time. I think God's trying to tell me to give this man a second chance and see what road he brings me down. And hopefully, I make the right calls. I'm in stress. Perhaps this card is saying. Uh... What I understand now that uh, your strength is to kill him, perhaps to save others. I don't know yet. I never killed anyone before. That's one thing. Kill the wrong person. Hey, ain't something you can come back from. You guarantee yourself a spot in hell after that. I don't want to be that. Yeah, well. From the sounds of it, it doesn't sound like a good man. Yeah. I appreciate that, I guess. Yeah, no problem. I'm uh, glad that uh, I could open your eyes a tiny bit. But, uh, chin up, alright? You, uh, you need to find some sort of strength in yourself, remember? Yeah, yeah, yeah you're right about that. I think when the time comes, I, I'll make the right call. Do what I think is what I should be doing the right thing. I, I don't pretend to be a wise man. I don't think I'm that wise or smart. The, but I, I try to do what's right for people. Yeah, well, uh, let's take you to the bar. Try and get your mind off it. Yeah. And uh, you can tell people how much I probably freak you out, like everyone else keeps going on about. <laughs> nah, I, I think I kind of like you, so <laughs> don't worry about that. Well, the feelings mutual, and when I say freak you out, I don't mean it in a bad context. I quite quite find it uh, amusing, since uh, normally my reads are accurate. Well, I did see a guitar in there, or I could set the pan piano again and uh, get the place a bit more lively. But... <laughs> True, true. There we go. I think I'll grab the guitar for a bit. And maybe you can use your singing voice to impress. <laughs> maybe. You too. What'd you say your name was? How's it, how did it go off, man? Ah. <sighs> So, uh, Nicholas. Now, what is it? Did you fuck yet? Oh my god. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Come on now. Wait, what did you say? That wasn't straight to the point. She's about to rope you up now, boy. Now, you're asking for that. She's, uh. <laughs> you deserve that one, Freeman. <laughs> you know what? Here, I'll make it even better. You could sick a dick if you, you know. If you could. Uh, Douchebag. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Stop putting me on the spot like that. I'm getting there. I like the way it's not even like, you know, don't say that in public. I'm getting there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, poor baby. Alright, folks, I figured, uh. Wolf. 
place is a little too quiet, and I'll bring you guys some music tonight. It's in game. I try to do my best out there and I try. Uh, I guess so. I tell you what, folks, if I was a rich man, I would buy y'all drinks. <laughs> Sounds like a storm's coming in, so everybody make yourself comfortable. Hey, Minnie. Oh, jeez. How about you show off your singing voice? Might be having some... Might be having a bit of it. Tune there. You're welcome. Uh, this one's a little more solemn than uh, earlier, but uh, I feel like sometimes it's good to reflect on our sins, try to hope for a better future. Still looking at a glass intently. He's still zoomed after me. Yeah, he's still really looking at that glass. Hey, Minnie, you should uh, show everyone your beautiful voice. <laughs> uh, I don't hear your voice at all at the moment. Let me Ain't have it? a quick see for a moment. Ah, uh, all right. There we go. <laughs> I know a lot of us out there do a lot of things every day. And hopefully the music tonight and I guess each other's company can bring us some strength and uh, happiness. for any tips by the way but uh, if someone wants to buy me a drink I ain't gonna say no drinks on me mate very good then I appreciate it god bless <laughs> you know as good as it is I'm pretty content with watching for free <laughs> that's fair enough <laughs> He's got a badass voice as well. Alright, I'm tired. I appreciate you folks listening. <laughs> Maybe I'll play the piano next. 
like your instruments, don't you? I learned it from uh, my father. He was a uh, church pianist, and he had a talent for music. And I appreciate that from him. Uh, you might want to just fiddle with your knife as well. Good stuff. <laughs> 